One of the most up and coming neighborhoods in New Orleans is the Bywater. Past the hustle and bustle of the French Quarter, the Bywater is a hotbed of new restaurants and an alternative art scene. Cabs, buses, and plenty of street parking will get you here, but my favorite way is to bike. If you're visiting from out of town, you can find bike rentals pretty much all over the city. Elizabeth's is a Bywater institution. The breakfast they make here is one of the best in the entire city, which means it's a perfect place to start your day. Personally, I never leave here without one of their house-made Bloody Marys or a plate of their signature praline bacon. After a breakfast like that, you'll want some time to digest. So head on across the street to the Crescent Park. This riverfront green space offers paths for biking or a casual stroll. Best of all, some beautiful views of the city skyline. This part of town is packed with some great places that'll keep you busy all day long. There's fresh juice and pastries at Satsuma, cocktails at Oxalis, beers at Markey's, record shopping at Euclid, and pizza for lunch at Pizza Delicious. Marpa, the joints, BJ's, swimming at the country club, the list goes on and on. And like any great New Orleans neighborhood, just taking in the architecture alone means that there's something great waiting for you around every corner. For an inside scoop on the Bywater's exploding restaurant revolution, let's go talk to Nick Vivian, a co-owner here at Booty Street. Tell us a little bit more about Booties. Tell us about the concept, the story. I really wanted to find a place where we could put street food in an indoor setting with air conditioning and cocktails. I think it's the most pure, authentic food, and it's from the heart. It's very passionate food. We have always been a worldly city, always. In the entire history, we've been a port city. There's not been a moment in which New Orleans wasn't having ships come in. And that's something, for me, with the street food, I felt really inspired by. We should have world flavors here, because we are at the mouth of the Mississippi. We look around the block and we just see this neighborhood and this area specifically sort of exploding with restaurants. Why do you think that's happening? We have a creative class of culinary folks who are really able to offer new things. We're a city where we eat, we live to eat, that's the way it is. Another Bywater staple is Bacchanal. What started as a wine shop with pop-up chefs in their back patio has since become a full-scale bar and restaurant with live music nightly. More and more people in the neighborhood kind of insisted that this was a place they wanted to hang. They didn't just want to come buy a bottle of wine and leave, they wanted to hang out. And they just kind of demanded, you know what, there's something about this place, the spirit of it, this 200 year old building, we want to hang out. So we responded to that. There's just like an awesome sense of adventure and discovery. When you find this so far off the beaten path, you know, and like you've really done something authentically New Orleans. How have you seen the bywater growing and changing? It's always been this bohemian enclave out here in the Bywater. I think that lent itself to taking chances and being uh, creative. And I think it's growing in a good way with that, that pirate spirit, that rebellious spirit, whether it's food, and art galleries, uh, music venues. It's growing in a way that's authentic to the fabric of this neighborhood. Besides the great things that you can do every day, the Bywater also throws down for special events like the weekly Piety Street Market, the annual Fringe Theater Fest, and of course, the Merleton Festival. I will leave you here at Vaughn's, where you can catch up on some live local music and dance all night long. For GoNola TV, I'm CJ Hunt, and we'll see y'all soon.